Okay, hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Um, or should I say, hi friends. So, for this video, hey friends. we are gonna do an updated evening routine for you guys, like nighttime evening routine. Uh, I am bringing out the tripod. I had to dust it off quite a bit. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while. So, we are going to do that for you guys so that you can see what, um, I kind of want to say what solo parenting looks like with toddler twins and a three and a half year old. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started. I am going to do this um, probably pretty montage -y. I don't think it's going to be a lot of talking. If you've seen previous um, routine videos of mine, they are just set to some music and you can see how things go. I'll throw some information up on the screen or I'll do a voiceover. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started, I guess. It is um, 4.57, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making the kids some dinner. Okay, you guys, so most nights I try to come up with something really simple for the kids to eat, and tonight it was pasta with tomato sauce. So I will be popping in and out of here, but just try to enjoy the music until then. The world's longest tease, you said you've never this way before. Usually when I'm cooking dinner, I try to get Olivia and the boys to straighten up the living room. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to tell Olivia to pick up her things and trying to keep the boys from killing each other while I'm cooking. I always, always, always get the kids naked for dinner time. So save yourself some trouble and go ahead and strip your kids down when you're doing this so that you don't have to worry about tomato stains later on. Let me be Me in the eyes. 
While the kids were finishing up their dinner, I decided to go ahead and give Molly her dinner for the evening. She's been not feeling very well, so we've been doing like a bland puppy diet for a couple of days now, and as you can tell, she really, really, really likes it. Anytime tomato sauce is involved, there is a bath that follows right after. The boys absolutely love taking baths and Olivia just jumps right in with them and we just get all clean and ready for bed. just run around a little bit more to get the rest of their energy out. We also like to sit down and read books during this time and just kind of try to wind down before we go upstairs and get to bed. This is what my dinner has been looking like for the past few weeks. Um, it's just a bunch of salad greens, some deli meat from the deli at our grocery store, some salad dressing, and tonight I added goat cheese and I let Olivia try it and she was not a fan as you can see here. Brushing these kids' teeth is quite a chore. Uh, some days they really let me get in there and get it really great. Other nights, like tonight, Jacob puts up a fight and it's just a major struggle. Olivia is easy peasy because she's three and a half, but I really had to fight Jacob on this one. After everybody has brushed their teeth, we take the boys straight up to their room. Olivia always, always, always runs ahead of us and hides behind the curtain and then runs and hugs her brothers as hard as she can. She loves to knock them over. Another thing I do every single night is put lavender oil in both of the diffusers we have upstairs. We have one in the boys' room and also one in Olivia's room, and this just really, really, really helps them to get good sleep. asks me to read a book with her, say her prayers, and sing her a song, and we usually end up FaceTiming Daddy at the same time. Now, after I put Olivia to bed, this is something that I do every single evening. I go downstairs and I clean up the living room. I don't necessarily vacuum every night, but since I took my rug out, it just has made me crazy. I've vacuumed at least once a day, and this particular day I ended up mopping because Molly has been dealing with a UTI, so she's had a few accidents in the house. 
after I am done in the living room, I go and get myself in some comfortable clothes and then I go sit down and turn on one of my favorite TV shows for a little while. Sometimes I will talk to Ben on the phone. And then after a little bit of that, it is bedtime for me. So I just turn off the lights and tonight I had to switch over a load of clothes. I usually end up starting the dryer before I go to bed. And then I will go into my bathroom and take my makeup off, wash my face, and get myself ready for bed. Bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Evaporative cooler, which has been awesome for these hot Georgia evenings. My room is always super hot, so I've really enjoyed having this in my room. I always have to fall asleep to some sort of noise, so I usually turn on Friends on Netflix and fall asleep listening to that. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what an evening looks like for us over here at the Web House, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.